I think wood ducks are my favorite. What's your favorite type of duck? <laughs> talking to some random people. You should go to this website on my back and, uh, <laughs> and I don't know, DDoS it or something. Think, sunk, think, sunk, tay. It's time for sunk tay. Hi, uh, welcome to Thunk Tanked. Uh, my name is Calvin, and I'm in, I'm in a duck pond. My name is Andres, and uh, I am the holder of the bread, and therefore the most important. Yeah. My name's Eric, and I don't have a funny intro this week, so screw you, audience. That's hilarious. Yep. Being yep. negative to your audience, apparently super popular on the internet. Oh, yeah, is it? I don't know it? how that works. Is, is it? it? Yeah. I don't want to be famous. Please don't give me money. Yeah. God, I hate I like, Screw you. No, I like some of the people that watch, though. Oh. Oh, that sucks. Those are real people out there, not just audience members. Oh. Mm. Hmm. Weird how how the, the crushing uh, blows of capitalism really dehumanize things, isn't it? <laughs> Guys, if we talk Crazy. bad about capitalism, we can't be super rich. Uh, no. no, no, you can. That's how communism works, is, is a few people get super rich. Oh, and if we do communism first, we get to be richest communists? Yeah, pretty sure. Pretty sure. Okay, I'm not going to look it up, though, so uh, we're just going to keep going on <laughs> believing would? that. Yeah, I wouldn't. I wouldn't. I'm not going to so look things today up. Today I have an idea. Oh, 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 good. I've good. Got an idea. At least one it's of us. It's called face shapes. Face, it's called face, face shapes. Face shapes. It's shapes uh, have you ever gotten up in the morning face. and you have to go to work? No. Or do something important? Oh, I mean, important. a long you time have. ago. You have. A long time yeah. ago. Yeah. yeah. You have. You've done these things. And you looked at your face <laughs> and you're like, I'm a man. And I'm covered <laughs> in this horrible hair that makes me look like I don't care. Uh huh. And you're like, I need to remove this hair. But. Right. Like grooming yourself is difficult when you have like partial beard and you want some of it. What the face shape is. You want to keep is, some beard? Right. You want to keep some of your beard, but get rid of some of it. Mm -hmm. Maybe you have a mustache or sideburns. What this is, is, is it's duct tape. So it's manly. Okay. And it has yeah. cutouts of the shape of the facial hair you want to keep. Right. Like a stencil. Like a stencil. And you just put it on and then you rip off all the hair you don't want. Right. And. And it's like, it's a closer than a shave. Uh huh. Right. Way yes. closer. So you, you're no longer getting five o'clock shadow. Uh -huh. Don't have to bring that shit to work. That's like a six o'clock shadow. It's like a disposable uh, floby. It's like a disposable floby, but it's made out like of duct tape. Yeah. Waxing, <laughs> but with duct tape and for your face. Wow. Yep. It, almost exactly like that. Yeah. Face shapes. But with cutouts. Sounds so you could get so like, insanely uh, painful. You could get like characters. Oh yeah, star star shaped sideburns, the, heart shaped sideburns. Like the thunk uh, thunk Mickey tank Mouse, logo thunk on the back logo, of your head. Yeah. Oh, you could use them on your hair as well. Yep. Face shapes. Oh. It's face it's shapes. Face shape. It's really good. Yeah. Shapes, uh, shapes for your face. I think um, um, there might be some issues with the amount of pain. Yeah. Well, if, like if it hurts. Too well, not much, everyone's masculine not enough of a man to enough. be using this product. Hmm. Yeah, if you're not masculine enough to tear out your hair for hmm. beauty, um, <laughs> I don't know what you are. I guess probably probably someone who who either grows a beard or doesn't shave, hmm. That's which I guess means true. you grow you grow a beard. So yeah, probably beardy, probably beardy. Well, uh, yeah, I mean you got a a real a winning starter. winning loser yeah. there. That's okay. yeah, damn it. <laughs> Definitely a contender for top three worst ideas of the show. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Really? Yeah. Wow. It's it is right up there with Hover Truck, I think. No, but Hover Truck was at least funny. Yeah, I feel like <laughs> you're, the you're, team Hover Truck you're really you're nailing me into the ground here. Guys. Are awesome. <laughs> If you buy Team Hover Truck shirts, you help Team Hover Truck win oh. the Hover Truck versus Apache Car fight. I didn't know that. Well, Team, team Apache drew, Car is the better car. Our funds go directly to Blast. Team Hover Truck? The, is that? Yep. Directly to Team Hover Truck. Wow. All funds earned from sales of uh, Team Hover Truck. That's incredible. All profit. That's incredible. Yeah. Um, yep. Cool. You guys bring anything? Here because apparently no, I, I have everything. Work. I have crowns for cars. I have pumpernickel. I have penis wait, wait, shrinking. Wait, hold on. Like, oh my gosh. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. This is just, just blasting us with these thunks. You got to slow down. 
What is yeah. pumpernickel? Pumpernickel. It's a type of bread. Uh-huh. And I assumed pumpernickel was a type of grain because I'm an idiot and just assume things. <laughs> but I looked it up, and apparently it comes from the German words that mean devil farts. <laughs> and I think the world needs to know this. <laughs> You know that bread is <laughs> when the Germans are like Satan poops. I don't know. <laughs> so, so wait, like, do you get gas from pumpernickel? Is that the problem? I don't know if that's it. Apparently, it was like an insult, like you'd call someone a pumpernickel. I see. And apparently, the people who made pumpernickel bread were like an unpopular, like group of people. They were like the, the oh. Southerners or something. They were. S the pumpernickel. It's a slur Screw at them. them. And they're stupid bread. Wow. And then the bread got called by the name of the people, or not the name of the people, the insult used for the people, them and their stupid pumpernickels. Right, right. Right. There's like over time, ones. they just became over the time, same. Just became a bread. <laughs> Can we do that with something else? Huh? Can we do that with something else? Like, like what if we were like, um, we, we got to be careful because, like, sure, like, regional stuff isn't too bad, but, like, the the speed at which you can switch into racism is just not great. Yeah, no, I, I, that's that's why I've been quiet. <laughs> I'm like, now I need to pick one that is either directly a demographic, like, I, I was about to say nerds, but that's a candy. Um, hmm. Yeah, there's already a candy named after them. Yeah, they already did that one. Hip Hipsters. 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 So like what if what can we like brand, I don't know, avocado toast? Well, well they already they already own that one. So I feel like yeah. brand maybe like shoes. We uh -huh. just call them hipsters. Like that's our brand. It's the type of shoe. It's just the style of probably mm. boot. That's not the same thing as the pumpernickel thing though yeah, we could just call like sourdough hipster bread and uh as long as it caught on it would eventually be just hipster bread huh. just pass, pass me a slice of that hipster over there mm, i love i love Fresh toasted, toasted hipster, hipster. <laughs> hmm. i don't know anyway mm. that wasn't I such a throw hipster to the ducks i want to feast on the hip i want to hear about the 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 crowns oh, oh. We should make crowns that you put on top of your car. Because I saw hats. a car driving by with what I thought was a crown on it. And was very disappointed when it was just a child's toy that wasn't a crown for the car. Cars would look so much more awesome and badass with crowns. Oh, like, uh, just... like what's that game? Uh, the one where you with the ball? Uh, yeah, yeah, know. yeah. Soccer, but cars. Crowns? It's car soccer. Car soccer has which crowns. Which is called something. Yep. Not, worrying about it. Not worrying about it. Um. You're not allowed to Google things. Get out of there. I'm not Googling. I'm waiting for chat to tell me. <laughs> waiting for chat to tell me. <laughs> no, this was the greatest source of all, all information. Um, I can't remember yeah, what, yeah, yeah. what it's called. But yeah, that, that game that has hats for your car. Yeah. That looks cool as hell. Car. Looks cool as yeah, hell. Yeah, we want them in real life. Yeah, why not? That's not hard. Yeah, we just make plastic hats. Velcro like they have them to be on pretty or... sturdy to stand up to highway speeds and stuff. And the weather. But other than that... Big old cowboy hat for your truck. Rocket League. I just remembered. Yes. There... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. What a good memory you have. Thanks. Oh my gosh. Thanks. <laughs> I've so worked proud. on it my whole life. <laughs> but, uh, like, I think, like, I, I just want a big old crown for my car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, feel, I, feel, I feel that. I, yeah. You'd be like yeah. king of the road. Car wigs. King of the Are road. car wigs a thing? Car wigs? wigs? Wigs would get really dirty wow. really fast. No, I want that it, it now. Also... Andreas, your mic is all screwed up. Unscrew uh, it. It'd it blow in the wind. Oh, yeah. That would. Is Andreas' mic screwed Plus, up? Yeah, yeah, a little bit. But oh. then uh, you could um, you could also gender your car that way properly. Yeah, you can you can appropriately gender your car by giving it the gendered characteristics. That <laughs> won't cause any trouble. <laughs> We're not being controversial here. We're just talking about cars. Yes, yep, <laughs> stupid yep. people in their cars. Inanimate objects, genders, based upon hats and hairstyles. This is gonna be fine. 
yeah there's a whole uh there's a whole subreddit uh devoted to uh it's called our needlessly gendered oh yeah so where, where they just like uh you know for men kinds of things right, right, <laughs> where, right. where it's like look did that need to happen but i want to pay 75 cents more for soap that's for men specifically as Your opposed four to men's soap is only 75 cents more expensive oh, I have... that's so i don't cheap. know i refuse they're selling I... like ten dollar I... bars of soap at the mall really jesus yes yeah, that's yeah, why i refuse it's to like buy that. some it says all sorts of dumb shit on it too it's like some macho shit i can't even remember it so, so makes macho, you more virile it's... it tastes like whiskey if you eat it don't eat it one was whiskey it, not, scented. not one was whiskey scented one was like wood scented it's yeah. like why the fuck like I seriously, I, like I'm. I already smell like wood from working with wood. Now I'm gonna wash with wood soap. You know what, what might be a good gendered thing, and not good in like for any good reason, but <laughs> so, it smells really well. We gender a loofah for men. <laughs> Dudes like loofahs, but they're all too afraid to buy them. So, so the funniest thing that I've seen that has been pointlessly gendered, uh, even funnier than a loofah, is uh, is butt wipes. Oh yeah, no. Oh yeah. Everyone right. knows though, men men uh, have have butts, and w- women have different butts that are <laughs> straight men don't wipe. It's a fact. <laughs> <laughs> oh no. So <clears throat> truck truck hats truck hats. I feel truck like wigs. we're getting truck wigs. We're getting. Mustaches you've seen on cars. We've oh, all yeah, seen yeah, a mustache yeah, on yeah. cars. Yeah, it's true. It's true. And um, eyelashes. Tails. Cars with tails. That could be tails. a hazard. Well, not if they hang like down from up. Like if you have a station wagon that's on the roof okay. and it hangs down, doesn't touch the road. Oh, okay. Not a hazard hazard. Yeah, no, I, I think it. Yeah, that sounds good. <clears throat> yeah. Hmm. Um crazy yeah did you have uh did you have anything else on that list that you started reading incredibly fast sorry uh crowns for cars dipping spoons for cereal pumpernickel uh penis shrinking pills oh. <laughs> <laughs> psychic exercise. Wait, uh, it always goes oh. so fast <laughs> wait what um, penis shrinking pill you said penis yeah. shrinking pills how does that, that work? make sense it's it's broken glass is- Hmm? Broken glass. No. A little pill of broken glass. No, no, no. It's it's a pill that you, you like buy the pill jar and it says on big letters penis shrinking pills. Uh-huh. And you put that somewhere subtle but prominent so everybody knows you have a problem. <laughs> and solving it. It's the reverse <laughs> compensating thing. Yeah, I get it. Yeah. yeah, 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 yeah. No, that's great. That's it's brilliant. Thank you. Uh, uh, and it wouldn't be that hard to market because they don't actually need to contain anything. Right, Nobody's going right. to take them. You oh, put... also sell books that are like how to get how to get your female friends to stop hitting on you. Right, <laughs> right. <laughs> you just like load up your like bachelor pad with these kinds of items. <laughs> oh, the man. incredible difficulties of living life with such an enormous penis. Yeah. And so much money yeah. is a book that everybody should own hmm. and display prominently on their coffee table. Uh, yeah, yeah. What you, do, what you do is you make special doors that have like a weird long slot so you can you can get through them sideways. <laughs> <laughs> and so all the doors have this weird thing and you're like, and then people are like, what is that weird thing? And you're like, oh, I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to talk about it. I don't want to brag. My penis is so long <laughs> that I can't <laughs> lock the door otherwise I won't fit through the door. <laughs> oh my god oh no um so uh you know how they mix peanut butter and jelly in one jar oh yeah that's disgusting like that's so wrong it is kind of disgusting but uh what about ketchup and mustard no look i don't like either of those anyway <laughs> I feel like somebody's already done that and they've called it a different thing and nobody has noticed. Custard. No. <laughs> Custard. <laughs> That's not what that is. That would be a good name, though. You can spell it. Uh, but, but yeah, cu- Custard is a, 
is a great uh great name for that terrible product but i feel like you do that with a lot of things mm. you just mix the two sauces everyone mixes well like ketchup and mayonnaise is basically thousand island dressing is it yeah god is that why i like thousand island dressing so much probably god that's fucked up surprisingly good on uh french fries. everything hmm. mayonnaise on french fries try it it works oh no <laughs> You Does know it work better? Um, it kind of a little bit. No, like flavor I guess mayonnaise only, is no. really great on French fries. Best thing I, on I, French fries is maple syrup. No. Ooh. Yeah. God damn it! Maple syrup poutine. Let's uh kill all the Canadians with the, <laughs> <laughs> with rage when we say that. <clears throat> um, I'm I'm hungry now. Thinking about maple oh yeah, syrup. no maple syrup poutine actually sounds amazing. Is the ma- is it a maple syrup based gravy or just maple syrup instead of gravy? Just maple and syrup. Maple syrup on top of the gravy. Just maple. I syrup. I feel like that would kill a lot of people very quickly. <laughs> <laughs> Poutine you already like, kills people pretty quickly. I'm like, are they dying from the rage at you suggesting this? Because <laughs> that's, I think, the number one killer here. Hmm. God. Um. I mean, I feel like you could mix other things. You could swirl a lot of shit in, in jars together and yeah. sell it. Yeah. Like um, spicy honey is really hot right now. Ha. Spicy honey. What are you putting in spicy with it? Spicy honey. Spicy honey. It's like a barbecue thing. You never. Okay, sure. Spicy sure, honey. Sense. I think it's literally what, like cayenne and honey or some shit. Yeah, probably. But, I mean, you know, culinary trends are not exactly always highbrow. It's not in caviar and truffles. Caviar and truffles. I assume, those are the two expensive highbrow things I know about. Gross. <laughs> you have like by mixing them together in a single jar, though, you're immediately lowbrowing them. Oh my god, caviar truffle like spread, and it's all mashed up. <laughs> so there's no way you can discern what it actually is made out of. Oh no. And it's just flavored like that. Tastes Actually, like why not just have fish a flavor? And dirt. Great, beautiful. Dirty fish, dirty fish paste. Um, what's what's that stuff they have? Marmite? What if probably what if in, you, or you, you call it caviar uh, and and truffles, but it doesn't actually have caviar and truffles in it, and it doesn't taste anything like caviar and truffles, it just tastes good. <laughs> Okay. I mean, I, I feel like I feel like we could really destroy the caviar market if we make it like so make better caviar flavor. So like kids will start thinking caviar tastes like this delicious brown stuff that comes out of a jar, and then they go and they have caviar and they're like, "This is disgusting. I want real caviar." And they'll be like, "This is fucking is real caviar." That's and, so and awful. Say, Gross. Well, caviar is a you know, baby fish. We want more fish. Like people are like so accustomed to like such garbage food that when they get the good stuff, the like real food, they're like, "Ooh, this isn't what I was expecting." That's how I feel every like... time. <laughs> Already, you know. <clears throat> yeah. I mean, I mean, I agree with you. It's sad, but like, I'm not gonna try to fix all the world's problems. <laughs> what no. the fuck are you doing here then? This is... oh, I'm trying to. I'm trying to sell you this mud in a jar. It's... <laughs> <I call it>. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I mean, I feel like it isn't a bad idea. The best mix no, it's, it, is um, making marshmallow and peanut butter. Like high, making like highbrow, expensive themed stuff for like middle class people who want to feel high class. Mm. Would, is incredibly pro- popular and profitable, and we should do that. Mm. But you know, I don't have the means to actually start manufacturing stuff to destroy the world economy. What if it's tapioca beads instead? Ooh, instead of caviar, yes. Do yes, yes, tapioca. Basically, beads. bubble tea. Yes, bubble tea. flavor it a little bit, like mushroom can... flavored bubble tea Ugh. with some sort of thickener. Gross. 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 Yeah. Um, oh, that's terrible. 
it might actually be okay. There might yeah, be it might be okay, especially if you make it not taste like shit. Yeah. If you change the flavor to be inaccurate, it might be good. Yeah. Hmm. And then you charge like a little below high. You know what I mean? Right. We figure out what caviar costs and like a third of that. Maybe half. Yeah. Like 20 bucks a jar. Or 15. <laughs> I don't think either of us have any actual <laughs> idea what ca- good caviar costs. <laughs> I'm no, pretty caviar sure it's real expensive insane. though. That's Never true. Even looked All at right, it in a, a store. Can you buy it in a uh, store? Does chat want to chime in on what good caviar costs? No, probably not. Or are they all too poor to know what caviar costs? I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure anyone that watches Twitch probably isn't eating a ton of caviar. I feel like those demographics are very separate. Hmm. Like you know, I don't know. You're you're watching something. You eat something. Maybe they're eating caviar. I don't caviar know. is a snack. Yeah. No, they caviar have is free a free time to watch us assholes do dumb shit. Maybe they're rich as hell. Who knows? Hmm. They, I mean, maybe. <sighs> I don't know. Calvin, has chat risen to the challenge of what does caviar cost? Uh, $2. $2. Wait, for how much? What? That's it. That's all yeah. the information for I have for you. I'm for sorry. <laughs> I will say some caviars do cost very little. Well, proper caviar that. is expensive. There's other fish egg products that aren't caviar. But that's me being pedantic. Oh, so wait, what is caviar? It's, I think, sturgeon eggs. Oh, God, wait. Might need to be specifically black sea sturgeon to count as actual caviar. As much as I don't like the very idea of eating, you know, mushroom flavor, anything, I would much prefer the tapioca to the actual thing. (laughs) Much prefer. I think most normal people would. I think that's why this is one of the most brilliant ideas we've had uh, this whole show. Yeah, we should. Uh, one of us eventually needs to start actually manufacturing products. No, that's not going to happen. We, that's why we did the. That's <laughs> yeah. why we did the podcast. This, this, this right, is right. We don't have we, to do it. We don't have to do anything. We just uh, we get the the, the the ideas out there to the public till somebody steals them. Yeah, I mean. And then, and then we want credit for them. Just obviously, right? So that our, we get money from the the all the uh, merch sales for the podcast. Oh yeah, which mostly which will go to Hover Truck. Uh, mostly, 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 mostly. We got we have you know priorities. Obviously, <laughs> Hover Truck, food, uh-huh. Team Apache Car, <laughs> World Peace. Oh yeah, that's somewhere global in there. Global warming, lowest priority. Global warming. <laughs> then communism. But that you know, duck just disappeared. We don't talk about the communism. I went to go touch the. Oh, you can't touch the ducks. They disappear. Wait, sorry, yeah, sorry. Don't touch I, ducks. I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. We're, we're, we're supposed to touch wild animals. Look, okay, I don't know. I'm sorry. You know nothing about how nature preserves work. I, I don't know. Yeah, come on. I'm sorry. Um. So yeah. I, so don't all. Audio listeners, don't worry about it. Don't worry about uh, it. Don't worry about it. Don't think about by, it. By ducks. It's, a lot of ducks. A it's a lot of ducks. Come on. So, uh, I, I will say, I feel like everyone likes tapioca beads. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Like boba. Sure, 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 sure. They're delicious. Great. They're fantastic. I, some people don't like them, but I like them. We could totally sell jars of those beads in like a paste of some sort for like putting on sandwiches and other stuff. Like you could have sweet ones like strawberry. You know, like chocolate. We'll call it, I can't believe it's not caviar. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's actually pretty fucking good. Do <laughs> 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 people own the term, I can't believe it's not? I don't think so, but I don't know. If they don't, we should trademark that. <laughs> Why is this so funny? That's great. I love it. <laughs> oh, man. Can't believe it's not caviar. Has none of the flavor of caviar. <laughs> none of the texture of caviar. It may or may not taste like actual caviar. We don't superior to caviar in every way. <laughs> Just Guaranteed like... to not taste like fish. Yeah. That's pretty awesome. I can't believe it's not caviar. God. I mean... There's a lot of foodstuffs that we need to replace yeah. with shit that is that, you know? Yeah. 
I uh, mean, I agree. Cows yeah. are getting a bad rap right now, and to be fair, we could eat fewer cows. Cows are also pretty so and cute, unlike pigs and chickens, which aren't as pretty or cute, in my opinion. You're right. Pigs and chickens suck, but cows are best tasting. Mm. I, I would say that cows have sweet eyes, and I don't mean that in flavor. I mean, <sighs> they seem very charming. Pigs, on the other hand, I feel like would eat me if I died. So, fuck them. Wow. Anyway. Uh, I More have, pigs, fewer cows. I have a an idea uh, to get away from that controversial subject onto a different one. This is, this won't be controversial at all. Well, no, no, that'll be fine. <clears throat> so I had this idea. Um. Uh, sometimes you know how uh, it, it's hard to tell. It's hard to ask what somebody else's favorite animal is. Right, I, I don't mm -hmm. think I've ever successfully asked anybody what their favorite animal is. Well, you know, like yeah, exactly. Sure. See, exactly, let's, let's exactly. Yeah. Let's go around real quick. What's what's your all favorite favorite animal? I'll go first. I'm gonna say penguin. Mm. Good choice. Good choice. Uh, just just because of the, that they walk like little gentlemen. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna say that's... T Rex because they're the most badass. Oh, I was okay. gonna say right. Quetzalcoatl. Okay. No, I feel oh, like... what's Coddle? Good, 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 good. Can I do that? That's okay. Yes. But I feel so. But the problem is, is that I feel, I feel, uh, nervous, even answering that 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 question. It's, it could be weighted. It could be right. If, if only there was some way that that you could uh let people know what your favorite animal is without having well, to. That's simple. Ask or say. A simple injection of a uh NFC. Uh, transmitters similar to the ones they use in pets to track them and stuff, uh, and it has a, a, a little like lump that the, you could see. You get near it with your phone, and you can see what somebody's favorite animal is. Uh, and it, oh, God, but, but it would need to be put someplace like simple, like um, like maybe on the top of your hand or maybe in your forehead or something like that. So you'd know and you could come out somebody with a phone and just kind of be waving your phone around and like scan them. Uh, and we call it, we call it a beast mark so that you can, oh, uh, you okay. can get the, you can tell what the animal is that there's their favorite. But how will we stop them from doing business with people if they don't have a beast mark? Like we'll have to have businesses <laughs> install scanners at the door in order for okay, like, okay, everybody to right. be uniformly marked. Right, right. Yeah, I right. think everybody should get them. That's what I'm suggesting. Pro it should probably be mandatory. Right, God. right. Can we all just start voluntarily chipping ourselves with useless useless RFID chips. Those are extremely useful. How is it useful? How is it not useful? It's uh. It's a great way to like. I mean, eventually we could like you know use it for other things, like tracking how much money you have and things like that. Yeah, making sales and stuff. Uh, a beast mark could be used for any number of other things, like identity and things we like that. We don't even really need to do all these fancy chips. We could just do barcodes, like just print it on the surface. Oh, oh, and it just like it tells your, you know, the little number will show what what yeah. beast is your favorite. Yeah, yeah let's and just tattoo numbers on people. Sign each number, tattoo. each each animal a number, and you uh -huh. get your beast mark. Yeah, easy peasy, easy peasy, easy. So yeah, that was my that was what I was thinking about. That's, uh, uh, yeah. Let's, let's imminent threat detection. So, uh, let's, let's, to change the topic to, uh, I'm opening up a, a new rental service. Oh, uh, it's, it's, you know, that, that popular camping rental, uh, thing where you can, it's like Airbnb, but specifically for camping. No, I no. never, never Is heard it... of that. Really? No. Is it Verbo? Uh, I don't know. I don't know. We're not, we're not sponsored. Fuck off. Uh, yeah, um, fuck off. Or, <laughs> yeah. Don't you dare try to give us money. You suck. Um, um so uh, we're we're gonna call ourselves uh, FEMA camps. Oh, FEMA camps. Are we right, doing right? It's like FEMA camps. It's like the verbo for uh, camping. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. Perfect. What were you gonna say before that, Eric? 
No, I, I was going to start talking about Project Stargate and what if psychics were real. <laughs> oh. Wait, I want to talk about that. That's my jam, <laughs> yo. So, but like, seriously, if psychics were real, uh -huh, uh -huh. the government has spent a hundred some million dollars Killing finding them. people and training them, right? <laughs> yeah. That we know of. Uh-huh, uh-huh. If psychics were real, they would never fucking tell us. Yeah. They would send out operatives like the amazing Randy to discredit <laughs> psychics. Yeah, yeah, they would. They would do a massive disinformation campaign. Absolutely. Yeah. Like they, they do they with would... aliens. Yeah. If psychics were real, uh -huh. everything would be exactly the same as it currently is now. Wow. That's not it's, true. As, from as anything we can tell, like the government would know about psychics and they'd be trying to keep it from other countries because any idiot country with no technology can train psychics probably. Wow. Right? Yeah, because there is. There's basically a massive disinf... Or, or maybe it'd be something... No, that, that's exactly how they'd have to do it. They'd have to constantly um, like, do disinformation about how dumb and like and and just illegitimate they are yeah they were including like putting out fake psychics to scam people and get caught yeah if there's no difference huh. from how it is how it is is no different than how it would be if the government was covering up covering up psychics hard disagree really really why what yeah. do you think because there would be at least one psychic who who did some crazy shit to get like you know i don't know if they, they saw get, the future just get them debunked yeah, all the, all the no, 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 information people need to do is hire professional magicians to discredit them by doing it fake right but but all right can psychics see the future in this or are psychics like, just well, do they talk to the dead what let's is assume it? like remote viewing and you can kill a goat by staring at it yeah 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 yeah, 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 yeah. Or, no, no, maybe hold the on. cloud bursting thing. Oh yeah, right. All right, and that so, remote, remote viewing. Remote viewing means you can do some crazy shit. I'm sure to make money. Yeah, but if you get found out, the government's gonna put you in a camp or some shit. Or uh, you know, like uh, hide child porn on your or computer. Or mental ward because you're crazy. Or they're mm -hmm. gonna put a chip in your brain that do your psychic powers. Oh yeah! If they can kill a goat, yeah, they're a threat, right? Yeah, mm. you might just get yourself. Yeah, yeah. They just like like in scanners, they'll just blow your head up, right? Yeah, I saw that movie. <laughs> Heads blew just up. I like, don't remember anything else about that. Just movie. like in scanners. <laughs> <laughs> yep, scanners. <laughs> But, like, it, nothing would be different. Yeah. That's crazy. There would be this massive bunch of people who think everybody who believes in psychics are idiots. Uh-huh. Psychics would be real. And none of the psychics people are going to would be real psychics. Right? There'd I still mean, be thousands of con artists conning people out of their money claiming to be psychics. But psychics would be real. Just like how there's thousands of people claiming to be, like, scientists and doctors con you know, conning people out of money all the time. Except science is real. Right, right. But there's still people. My point is people will con people out of money with anything if they get, are given the chance, regardless of if it's true or not. Right. Like uh, non-fungible tokens. I think Calvin mentioned this a couple episodes ago. Yeah, because he hates the environment. <laughs> right. But, well, I do, like, but that's not the. It's, that's not why I'm into them such a brilliant extra con because it doesn't it's not a, it's not real it's so not real though yeah, yeah. like uh, it's also extra fake non-fungible tokens are not what is uh, are not the problem that is like they're not actually causing the problem it's with the environment problem. it's their algorithm thing they're 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 doing yeah. things bad on purpose yeah a oh. whole <clears throat> there's a whole thing i won't get into it it's not funny Okay. <laughs> well, they make the algorithms super labor intensive so that they're hard to crack, basically, and yeah. abuse, right? Yeah. 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 yeah, but like, it's basically like instead of making the lock hard to pick, they just made the door ten thousand pounds. <laughs> yes. There you go. That's well, that's the, a, that's the uh, wow. That analogy. 
Very, Thank you. Very yeah. good. Sounds secure. Yeah. Big heavy doors. Big heavy doors. Like, like in Tron. Good luck. The movie Tron. Like in Tron. The big heavy door. Wait, Tron or Tron Legacy? The one where his dad. Same door. Same door. <laughs> one where his dad's ashes to become his girlfriend. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> you said that on the podcast before. I just listened to that episode a few yeah. days ago. Yeah, I know. He's like know. he's a particular fan of that that reality. That's my favorite. Fact. That's yeah. my favorite fact about Tron. <laughs> <laughs> And I'd like to point out the podcast that should not be named and shall not be named about other brothers constantly reference things no one else gives a shit about. <laughs> Is it always the same shit? Same, yeah. same shit. Well, kind of. Yeah, that's comedy. You know. Reference like. You know, comedy is continuously talk. repeating things until it's funny. Yes, yes, a good por- a good yeah. portion of it. Yes, yeah. I got one more use out of this one. Before for it to come back and be funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You need to like do it like at least three or four more times before it starts to even get close. Oh, I'll just keep going. All right, cool. <laughs> so I have to bring my garbage cans out regularly uh-huh. for garbage pickup. No, you That's don't. You just that... let the garbage pile up in the house. That's one way. Yeah, I... when you move out, it's your landlord's problem. Oh, oh, good. All right. <laughs> well, uh, perfect. Uh, never mind. Good problem solved. <laughs> um, no, did you have an idea based around that that well, particular I nonsense? That, uh, we have robots basically for everything now, and everything. I think it, you know, like they have library robots that drive books and shelves around. And sort you want of a trash books. can robot that's like a Roomba with exactly. a trash can on top that, that just hard. goes out to the curb. Should not be that hard. I think I've seen somebody little, make such build a one. You're an engineer. Stop being Yeah, alone. but I'm a lazy engineer. <laughs> well, are you too lazy to take out your garbage can, but also too lazy to build a robot to take your garbage can out? Yes. Hire somebody to do it. No, I don't have money. Oh, well. That's yeah, I know. Yeah. The I was easy just pointing solution out. then is a chute. Ooh. How come we don't have garbage chutes? Oh, uh, we do, do if we live in a building no, that has but a garbage chute. Like, yeah, yeah. Garbage like ever as the norm. Mm. You know, no more garbage bags. Garbage bags are bad for It's the a big thing to like build into a an infrastructure, you know. Gutters and everything. Everything's what? got fucking gutters. These are just gutters that go to uh, bins that are picked up later. Well, I, I... I, I recall living in a building that had a garbage chute, sent the garbage to the basement where there was an incinerator. They didn't incinerate the garbage anymore because that was illegal because of the bad things that did, but like you could do that. But it like used to be pretty common in larger apartment buildings to have a garbage chute. Well, I'm talking about a garbage chute in every apartment. You have a, in the kitchen, like you, you have garbage cans, right? You step on them, the lid pops up. And it, down inside that can is a bottomless void where you put the things you don't want anymore. Hmm. Yeah, sure. You take your moldy crusts of bread and your rotten apple cores and yeah. uh, whatever else. Food, yeah, we normal get, food um, stuff. We get that. Put in the these for, it's, it's called a drain. Hmm. You just wash things down the drain. Yeah. I feel like that's actually. That's where, I put, that's, that's where I put my grease. That's where things exist. The grease and my coffee grinds every morning. Just right down yeah. the drain. It is, it's, yeah. Nothing. So, that was it. That's just, you guys just You're greasing that. your coffee grounds? They're just going to leave that. They're just going to leave that like I, it is. I okay. do get coffee grounds in the, in the drain when I'm washing out my coffee pot at night. Yeah. yeah. That's really bad. I, I, was, I was trying to make a joke. It was a tr- oh, are you not supposed to get coffee grounds in yeah, the absolute, sink at all? Absolutely not. <laughs> I mean, Look, I mean, they get it in depends there. Depends how long you want to live there. If you <laughs> live there long enough, that's going to clog up the drain, then uh, that's bad. Yeah. But if you don't want to live there so long, you just leave, so, and it's somebody else's problem. I, all right. So I've got a question. Right now, where I'm currently living, I have a coffee maker that has filters that are disposable. Hmm. So yeah. that's easy. Hmm. But I used to have a coffee maker that had uh, mesh. Mm-hmm. And you take that, you bang it out into the garbage as best you can, yeah. right? But you're gonna have to get the little bits of grounds out. Yeah. So you rinse it out. Yeah. With water. 
And that tiny amount of coffee grounds always goes into the strain. Yes. Is that bad? I mean, like, sooner or later, you're going to have to dig up your drain pipe and replace it. Or maybe not. I don't know. Like, mostly, it's mostly fine. Just throw shit down the drain. 99% of the time, you won't have to, like, do anything. But, uh... Huh. Why uh, garbage disposals in sinks exist? To but grind they're like up the stuff worst so you can push it down the drain. Aren't garbage disposals like the worst thing ever? Super bad. They will. You will have more plumbing problems if you have that than like not. And they break constantly. I don't know anything about that. I've never had one because you know I care about not having to. Because if my plumbing breaks, I have to fix it. Mm. I mean. Yeah, that's not good. Yeah, I know. I fix my plumbing. Screw that. I've seen some ads for uh, Liquid Plumber. Yeah, that's also uh, bad. Those are, no, those they're wreck fantastic. Your, they wreck your pipes. You know that, right? Destroys your pipes. Never, never, never Liquid Plumber. No, no, the ads are fantastic though. Oh, because the what ads? they do is they Maybe take they the guy's hair off. What? And they shove it in a drain, and then they pour a Liquid Plumber on it. What? Yeah, 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 and then it goes down the drain, and the, it's a clear drain. And then at the end of the ad, they go, we do not recommend purposely putting hair in the drain. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm, I, I, It's just great because one, no shit, you're selling a product that fixes it, that you're not selling the, the experience of having a clogged drain, you know. <laughs> and But two, like, man, I don't know. It just seems, it seems very... Uh, It seems it seems like I don't know. It seems like a wonderful product designed by people who clearly uh, understand their market, uh, which is people that know very little about plumbing and don't want to learn anything. <laughs> people who don't know anything and don't want to learn anything are a fantastic market. I think that's my market. <laughs> Well, you watched out. I'll make you learn about plumbing. You guys keep moving. You keep moving. I keep trying to fix too. it. I keep trying to fix I'm it. I'm trying to you stand like opposite here. you relative to the camera. Don't tell me I don't. I don't know what I'm doing because <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing, and I refuse to learn. All right, <clears throat> that's right. It's not my problem. Just my fault. It's our motto. We got is. the shirt. thunktankcom slash merch. Oh, we do have one of those, don't we? <laughs> do. Wow. Um, yeah. So I think uh, I, th I think we've had some thunks here. We have. Have we had enough uh, thunks? I, I don't, don't think know. so. We, we, are we thunk deficient today? We're thunk deficient. Well, that's sad. <sighs> Let me see. Oh, bonus thunks. Uh, what exercises can we do to develop psychic powers? Oh, oh, that's obvious. Um. Is it? Stare at a wall uh, for long periods of time until you can see through it. <laughs> How is that an exercise? Is that is that an exercise? It's basically make meditation, right? No, you have to focus on the wall. Okay. Yeah, that's what meditation right. is. You can't you focus. just like, clear your mind. You have to focus on the wall. That's oh, important. Okay. Yeah. yeah, none of that Zen shit. Get stressed out about it. <laughs> Get stressed out. Try really hard to focus on that wall. Mm. Cool. Um, I think there's certain foods you should eat, probably. Yeah. Uh, Kumquats are very good for psychic power. Um, I think generally liver is is liver is the most psychic organ. Everyone knows that. So like liver pad tay, kumquats. Um, what else is there? There's some good ones. Gross. I want. No, I don't want really. I, don't want I got, to eat I got any of that. no ideas for psychic power exercises, hmm. but I think people no. should do them more. Yeah, because you know, if psychics are real, <laughs> we should all be doing exercises. No, no hand push-ups, obviously. No hand no push-ups push is good. I tried that once. It Telekinesis. Didn't work. Turns out, uh, you need your hands for that shit. Telekinesis. Right, that's the other psychic power. Yeah, yeah just just go down no, on your knees, put your hands on your back, and fall forward, and your panic response to will catch either it. awaken psychic powers, or you have to keep working. Yeah, yeah. or you have to keep working.
That's very yeah. similar to the running at the wall until you can phase through it yep. exercise. Which is my favorite uh, application of quantum physics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, right. That That is technically theoretically possible that all your atoms could phase through a wall at the same moment, but... Uh, far more lightly than just one of them does, and you don't know. What are the odds it? of just half of them doing it? Ouch. I, and just, I mean, infinitesimally small. Better or worse than all of them, though? No, I don't know. I'm going to say better, but I feel <laughs> like there's some sort of cosmic statistic there where, like, if it's going to happen, it's going to happen all the way. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, Terry Pratchett-esque, uh, you know, laws of, of cosmic retribution. Hmm. Wait, what? I feel like, all retribution? right. Dunk tank. What did you guys learn? What did I learn? <clears throat> oh. I learned, I learned that, uh, that no one wants to wax their beard face off. Uh, and that's probably sexist of you to not want that. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. I learned that I might, normal. I might eat tapioca based caviar. <laughs> At least way more likely than, uh, or, or what were we calling it? I can't believe it's not caviar. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, would, I would eat that too. Maybe. Eric, you learned anything? I, uh, I, I learned that I'm not funny and it's sad. I should give up podcasting forever. Wow. Yeah. A depressing thing. Uh, sad, join our man. Patreon. Uh, try to convince him otherwise <laughs> <laughs> or don't whatever um what are we titling this episode oh yeah yeah we need a we need a clickbait uh title i, I can't like, believe I, it's not tapioca. i'm gonna I suggest that, oh yes yes i can't believe it's yeah. not tapioca or not not, not, not ca caviar caviar i can't believe it's not caviar it's a, it's a, it's a pretty good title yeah, it's a really good I title. what was yours shirt. Hmm? what what was yours I, I'm going to say Minecraft, but the imposter is a boat stuck in the canal. But that's <laughs> <laughs> that's just because I think it's funny. <laughs> I'm going to suggest that every week. If you do make a, a caviar shirt, maybe have it be a picture of a can of cat food. <laughs> <laughs> can of cat food would be pretty good. What if you buy cans of like, wet cat food and just relabel them? I can't believe it's not caviar paste. Or pate. Be, pate. Like, like it's all probably like that would be super against the law, but it would be hilarious. So you should do it anyway. Would it be? Is it illegal uh, you, to sell that as food for human consumption? Yeah, you'd have to they make like much higher quality cat food before Shit. you could sell it to humans. Uh, that's not like, true. Actually, they made cat food. Uh, wow, this uh, I've just read about this. They made cat food like and dog food human edible, so that because dur during times of uh, uh, famine, people would eat it and got sick. Oh, interesting! So wait, all cat food and dog food is technically human edible? Yeah, I believe so. That all right? Well, I'm not looking it up to check that. Yeah, that's a true store. fact. That's a true fact that you can <laughs> that don't don't look it up. Just know it. That's we just uh. Yeah, just all eat. cat food oh, is human edible. We're not dietitians, but go eat some cat food or dog food. Yeah, it's probably not going to kill you. Don't um, listen to dietary advice from a podcast. Oh yeah, yeah. Also, or also, me. nothing that we say is legal advice, and we're not. Our, all of our opinions are fictional because we're fictional characters. And uh, what was there anything else? Oh, we're not geologists. Stop, we're not, stop asking me about rocks. Stop Twitter. asking us about <laughs> rocks. But also, ice is a mineral. It's a fact. That's a that's an absolute. Oh yeah. Fact. Okay. I'm gonna roll right. the, roll the outro. Yeah, roll the outros. Yeah. Yeah. My God. Whew. So many fucking ducks. <laughs> so many fucking ducks. So many ducks here. So many. Yeah, there are a lot of ducks. <laughs>